What up everyone, Zeno here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting article that I just read and I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. It's an article, an interview article for Golden Glue, um, the player from Team Liquid. And basically it's an interview where he, he expresses... Uh, it's an interview where he expresses the lack of character in esports, and I thought it was such an amazing topic. I had to share it with you and just talk you through what I think about it. I think that right, like right now in esports, we have the same players, we have the same games on top, right? Today it's like League of Legends, Dota 2, uh, CS:GO, Hearthstone, and the rest. Like we have Overwatch and all, but th those are the rest. The thing is that right now in League of Legends, which has been on top for so many, many years, and with a structure that has his good part and bad part, his company, like, right games behind it, his players, his fans, like, we start to look like a traditional sports, right? But I feel like the only thing it's missing is character. And I'm going to explain it why it's so important for an industry like esports and why it should be more, like, liberal and more implemented. So when League of Legends came out and like Riot Games started to invest in esports and stuff, they were trying to keep the players in order in some sort that there was no trash talking, there was no insults, there was nothing between players that were like insulting or like there was like a there's a line to not cross. This is something we heard years and years ago. I don't know what happened to that rule or to that whatever. But those players are in contract with Riot Games to be professional gamer, and they obviously have rules to respect. Right now, if what I'm trying to say is that right now, if you win a game against TSM and you say, "Oh, f you, uh, f you double lift," I kick your ass in the bot lane, whatever. Even on Twitter, I think that this there can be repercussion from this from Riot Game. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I heard something about that. And I, I the, the reason I'm seeing this is that. The only thing we have in trash talking right now is double lift saying that everyone else is trash that eventually become a meme and more of a joke than anything else. The reason why this article is so important and the reason why it's so interesting that we talk about it now uh, in 2017 at the end of seven se uh, season 7 uh, is that right now like we... Nobody really knows what League of Legends is going to be in 5 years, in 10 years, in 20 years. Is it going to be replaced by another game? Is Red going to do another thing? Are they going to change the format of the LCS again? Everything is really blurry and everything is just like, we don't know if viewers are going to be here next year. We, we just don't know. We kind of know. We can like predict if there's a decline. We can predict if there's a problem. And I think that there is right now. I think that LCS is in decline because there's just way too many matches and people can't just watch everything. But I think that the notion of hype is really underestimated by Riot Games. I feel like they're not cultivating this aspect of uh, entertainment industry or just an entertainment sport in general. Like, I don't feel, as an esports fan, as a League of Legends fanatic, as a, like, I, I like TSM, I like Fnatic, oh, I like TSM, I like Fnatic, it's just like, I don't really feel the hype anymore. And what is important is that the hype is cultivated by drama, by trash talking, all that is really like supposed to hype up people. And today we see that a lot. So Golden Blue here, he's talking about a documentary he watched about some, uh, I mean, the boxer Muhammad Ali. Uh, I think it's an interesting documentary. Actually, I think it's on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, go check it out. And he talks about being having fun while being cocky and being humble in defeat and in victory but just the pre-game the pre-match the pre-d-day you just hype things up by trash talking and adding add, adding some spice to it adding some spice to the show for the industry and just for the fans out there just like to get the things heated up and I think that this could be implemented in esports so well like so so well right now we're in the in like, we're like a few weeks uh, from having the biggest boxing match in history with Floyd Mayweather and uh, Conor McGregor, right? And you see how the whole event is also, like, about trash talking. Like, they're literally, like, uh, renting the venues, selling tickets just to have those two in front of each other 
trash talking each other because it builds a hype it builds up the momentum of the actual day and it just makes people very impatient to watch it it makes them excited it makes them fan they buy t-shirt they express themselves on social media they do bets and all that is very good for the economy and the ecosystem of the industry and it's also good for the entertainment for you the viewers that want to watch an amazing match Right now, I feel like in League of Legends, we go through some TSM Counter Logic Gaming, we go through some TSM Cloud9, some Immortals Counter Logic Gaming, like all those big matches that are supposed to be like the Classico of NLCS, for example. Uh, we just go through them so many times that there's no more hype around them. There's no more hype around it. And the thing, the reason that, like, the way this is going to continue, if they continue like this, if you have like 10 TSM CLG in, in a season, well, people are just going to be tired of that. Like, there's not going to be hype. So, as I talk about this, I think about, like, new formats that Rare Games could, could like, implement. Like, why not having some sort of, like, new format where you have, like, less matchup with more hype? What about letting the players express themselves, trash talking, getting into characters, getting into a character? This could change a lot right now golden glue he put a pair of glasses and tweeted a photo of him on twitter and this is what trash talking is right now in league of legends that's really kind of lame like I, we need some hype dude we need some hype as a viewer as an esports fan as an esports fanatic f like enthusiast as a gaming like I'm, as a gamer I want to be hype. Right now, I don't tune in to LCS every week. I don't see every TXM matches because there's just so many. There's just so many. Like, I, I kind of watch one or two sometimes every week. But there's just so much content that people are just like... Oof. They're not gonna like. They're not gonna do it. And I feel like for the future of esports, for the future of League of Legends esports, it isn't looking good because well, we're giving too much of what what people want. If tomorrow there is like, if there was a McGregor, uh, Floyd Mayweather every month, every week, thing would just die out. Like people wouldn't care anymore. And that's why in soccer, Real Madrid, Barcelona, there's there's only a few match won against them. Uh, and they call it Classico, and they're really hype, and there's a lot of like, there's a lot of hype around it because even though there's not a lot of trash talking, there's just a lot of legacy and a lot of people around the team brands and a lot of rivalry for like, for whatever reason, to be honest, I don't follow soccer. Right now in NBA, there's a lot of trash talking in NBA is huge, man. Like, Michael Jordan was to be the, the king of trash talking, Kobe Bryant was to be the tr king of trash talking. And it just builds upon hype that people like to see as viewers. People like drama in general. If you see what's happening on YouTube, like there's channels just for drama. Like literally drama alerts uh, from Keemstar, Scars, or Scarce. They're, they're just channels about drama because people like drama. People are entertained by drama and it builds up hype. It builds up excitement. And it just builds something in you that makes you want more and more and more and more. So this is it. Like I thought it was an amazing article. It's a little interview that you guys should watch. I'll post a link down below. Go check it out and let me know in the comment down below if you think that esports can grow if it stays stagnant like that with like a very plateau um, season with like excellent number of match or do you think that actually things should be shaken up new format should be implemented with maybe less match and more hype and do you think that we as a community should push the players to have like characters uh, build upon like a brand and just trash talking like really trash talking in the most respectful way it doesn't have to be insulting or whatever just basic trash talking can make a lot of difference and just could bring other people to the to the viewership and just bring new people in i don't know i think it's a really interesting topic so let me know guys what you think in the comment down below don't forget to follow me on twitter at zonabra i'll see you for the next one tomorrow guys peace